Howdy, Rancheroos! Welcome to this episode of How to Draw Dino Ranch. Today we're showing you how to draw the fastest lightning velociraptor blitz. Grab a pencil, eraser, and a piece of paper, and let's ride! We'll start with his head. Make a half circle, leaving a big part open for his snout. When an animal has a snout, that means their nose and their mouth stick out from their face. So when we draw a curve coming off Blitz's head for his nose, make it curve up at the bottom, and that'll be both his nose and his lip. Finish his upper lip by drawing a long wavy line. It should go up, down, and then up again. Right at the end of his nose, draw two little black ovals for Blitz's nostrils. Then, at the end of his upper lip, draw a little curved line that shows he's giving a big raptor smile. Real life raptors have 30 razor sharp teeth, but since Blitz is a friendly cartoon raptor, we won't draw all those big pointy teeth. Just draw one, two, three, four U-shaped curves under his lip for the top row of his teeth. Then we draw a bigger U-curve for his bottom lip. Start underneath his first tooth. Make a deep curving line, then bring it up to the corner of his smile. Drawing the bottom teeth now, we can imagine drawing little curves as little hills inside his mouth. Just one, two, three of them. We'll finish Blitz's head by drawing a curved line that's wrapping under his mouth, giving him a chin. Now we can draw the details of his face. Remember, if you draw a line and you don't think it looks right, you can erase it and try again. Or if you use pen, use whiteout over it. Or start over with a new piece of paper. Right above that little line you made at the end of Blitz's smile, draw a big circle for his eye. Circles can be tricky. I'm taking a few tries to get it just right. Then draw a smaller circle in the middle of it for his pupil. Last for the eye, you'll add what we call a highlight. You'll make one more smaller circle inside of the eye near the top right hand side of the pupil. Now, when you color in the pupil black, that circle of white makes it look like the light is reflecting off his eye. Then, above the eye, draw a shape like a sideways watermelon seed for Blitz's eyebrow. Round on one end and point it on the other. Then, fill it in with black. It's time to draw his spikes. We'll draw four small curved lines like little hills that follow the curve at the back of his head. Start above the eye, then space them out evenly going down the back of his head. Blitz has stripes that go across the front of his face, so start above his nostrils and start a smooth curved bean shape. Now add more stripes, evenly spaced, moving up his nose. Notice how as I get to the third, fourth, and fifth stripe, the ends of the stripes start disappearing behind his head? That also makes Blitz look three-dimensional, so he's popping off the page. At the bottom of his head, add two lines for his neck, one under the back of his head and one under the middle of his chin. Since we're only drawing Blitz's head, we'll finish the drawing off with a circular border around him. Start it behind his head, then make it go in front of his neck. That makes it look like he just raced up and is sticking his head out of the frame. Now, big circles can be hard to draw, but this border can be any shape you want it to be. A square, a triangle, or even a Dino Ranch star. But leave your border open at the bottom for now, because we're going to do just one more special thing for this drawing. We're gonna draw his hands holding the frame. I like to think of hands like a bunch of bananas. Draw one banana on the right-hand side, leaving the top open, then two more bananas to the left-hand side of the first. See how I only needed to draw one line to make the other two fingers? Now all you have to do is put a curved line over top of these bananas for his hand, and you're done. Do the same thing on the other side of the circular frame. Now that the hands are done, you can finish your frame by connecting the lines on one side to the lines on the other side. Be careful not to draw a line through Blitz's hands, and when you're done, it looks like they're holding the circle. Isn't that a neat trick? All that's left is to draw a sideways curved line on his neck for his collar, and fill in his mouth with your pen or pencil. Now that you're done his face, 
take a good look at your drawing. And if you see anything you want to fix, use your eraser to clean up those parts of the drawing. You can even take another piece of paper, put it on top of your first drawing, and trace over the lines you made. We're gonna add these fun little lines above Blitz's head as exclamations that give us a happy aha or surprise feeling. All that's left is to color Blitz in. You can pause the video here and match the colors I used, or you can color your Blitz in any way you like. Nobody knows what color real velociraptors are, so you can get creative here. Some people even think velociraptors might have had feathers. Wouldn't Blitz look funny covered in feathers? And that's it, Rancheroos. You've just finished one mighty fine drawing of Blitz, and you did it with Velocitime speed. Join us next time for another episode of How to Draw Dino Ranch.